performance level, and that's what matters to them. Here we go. Yeah. Game number two, Samuel Basoto with championship golden ticket, flight to world finals or boat maybe. Who knows how he gets there? <laughs> Opportunity right now. Yeah, just to play a little bit of devil's advocate on myself and Josh, it's interesting, too, to add just into the conversation about hitting your stride early on. Just like in basketball, they talk about, uh, talk about it a lot. Early season wins are nice, but they it's really about hitting your stride when everyone else is getting to that championship level. So, you know, uh, six of one, half dozen of the other. As we move into game number two, Lucas down one. Lucas has shown so many decks, but we don't often see the regular mk ram deck we are going to see it from him right now mk ram rider lightning um you know definitely one of the strongest decks in the meta and samuel going to be running minor quick cycle with archer queen if you're running minor i like it when players are using archer queen in addition i think it's so important to be able to use that card it just gets so much value so much pressure on offense <laughs> These guys are literally in sync. You see them using the ability at the exact same time. Uh, the, the thing that's interesting for me, and either of you guys can respond to this, is Basoto's most likely running the Mortar deck, right, with Fire Spirit and, and AQ and Valk, as we're seeing here. Lucas probably has Lightning. How do you think this stacks up late game? Well, I think that uh, just to, to question on that one, I think they, if you look on the left-hand side, that they both pulled Lightning game number oh, one. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that does, that does change some of the mathematics here. Yeah, that's huge because that lightning would have been massive for the AQ and the mortar now probably running, you know, could be fireball, most likely not rocket. And there we go. We do see the Tesla Archer Queen on the left has to push it away. But this is going to be kind of scary on the right. Beautiful King Tower activation. Uh -huh. Not a problem. But Soto just playing lights out, not making mistakes and in a good spot. Now that, you know, you pointed out there's no lightning. That's the reason why this deck is so scary. I've seen it be used with Poison. I've seen it be used with Fireball. Um, you know, there's the potential for Earthquake. And those just, they don't have the same intimidation factor. You need the Lightning paired with the MK. Really nice control on the Royal Ghost there by Samuel Basota. You talked about it. He's firing on all cylinders right now. We'll see how long he can hold. And if he holds long enough to fend off Lucas here in the first best of three and get a clean sweep. Archer Queen snowballed to reset her, but with the control in the middle, she still gets nothing. Lucas playing some great offense, but his defense is choice right now. Yeah, I mean, the interactions by Samuel Basoto are just completely perfect, and the decision-making is all there. You saw him drop that Fire Spirit to eat the Bandit Dash, so now we're seeing the results of that with his AQ, chipping that MK down to about, you know, 66% health, and that King Tower activation, it's just tough. Those, those moments can start to become demoralizing when your opponent is just seeing all of your moves before they come. Snowball. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Josh. <laughs> I started to laugh when he, he defended it. It was like an Archer Queen on the left, and it was a Bandit on the right. And I started to laugh because the way he defended was so perfect. The Fire Spirit got the aggro of the Dashing Bandit, and then also made the Archer Queen look. And then the Split Skellies took the Archer Queen till its death bed, and then also killed off the Bandit. He's just playing so perfectly. No mistakes until that. That's huge. Yeah, Fire Spirit gets taken away. MK gets on top of the tower. Minor to the right-hand side, Fire Spirit behind in support. Going to get that lead back here by a fair bit as that Archer Queen of Lucas's gets shut down. So a moment of fear, maybe a moment of cracks in the armor. But Samuel Basoto, as we go in the Triple Elixir in the lead, and in the next minute, he could win $20,000 and a berth to a world championship. Yeah, I love that he's not giving up this pressure. He knows MK cycle to the left. I'll be able to set up with another Valkyrie. But right here, this is exactly what you need to do if you're playing MK and you don't have Lightning. You need to just set everything up and hope you can make it through. Getting real dicey here. You see that Ram Rider does not connect to the tower, obviously, but still a good amount on the board. Basoto, though, just playing lights out defense again. Only down to 2760. Fire Spirit does a little bit here. Final 15 seconds. Snowball to reset. Archer Queen cannot help. A attempted. Oh, no. <laughs> Lucas oh. was just waving the white flag. I thought he was attempting some sort of crazy prediction here. Not the case. Samuel Basoto punching your ticket to World Finals. $20,000. If you want to talk about a marquee moment in this young man's career, look at the look on his face. This is it right now.